Oh, what a day. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. You just would not believe it. Alan wanted a complete rewrite. Buddy came in late. Sally left early. I lost my wallet. I got a ticket for jaywalking. <laughs> and on top of that, I think I'm getting a cold sore. <laughs> what is that smell? Your son broke a bottle of shaving lotion. Oh, no, not my essence of matador. No, it's the, the other one, that cowboy stuff. My stirrup and saddle? Yes. <laughs> that stuff runs four bucks a box. Rob, don't go in there in your bare feet. <laughs> I'm not in my bare feet. I may be a little casual in my dress. And now, darling, let's not have any remarks about the way I'm dressed. You'd have the kind of day that I've had. I was talking about me, not you. Well, I know what you're thinking. You probably expect to come home and find me dressed in a ball gown and a tiara. I didn't even get out of my bathrobe until 3 o'clock. Maybe you would like to hear about the rest of my day. All I'm asking, darling, is for a little understanding when you come home. A little charm. Charm? Honey, who do you think I am? Fred Astaire? It wouldn't hurt you to emulate him. What, what do you want me to do? Come home every night and dance my way into your heart? <laughs> Honey, you, you remember I work in the big city? Mm, and life is very exciting here on the Riviera. <laughs> hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, Richie. That's right, side with him. <laughs> All I said was, hi, Richie. Sure, you can afford to say, hi, Richie. You don't have to clean up after him. Laura! Richie, dear, say good night and go to bed. Good night, Daddy. Good night, son. I'll be in in a minute, darling. Never mind, Mommy. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to that boy. I would love to. You just sent him to bed. <laughs> talk to him later. I've had dinner waiting for an hour. I've had mine. <laughs> You've had your dinner? Well, yeah, I, I had to work late, so I, I picked up a fast cheese sandwich on the way home. I thought I'd save you the bother. Well, why didn't you call me? I forgot. Did it ever occur to you, Rob, that I might like to eat? Well, go ahead. Who's stopping you? What do you want me to do? Cook it for you? Honey, I'm sorry. That's the sports. <laughs> it just that, well, everything went wrong today. Then I suppose you think everything went right for me. I didn't say that. Oh, ow, oh, mm, ow. <laughs> oh, darn, darn, Ottoman. Well, you don't have to bark at me. The Ottoman's been in this room for years, Mr. Astaire. I wasn't barking at you, Ginger. I was talking to the Ottoman. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going to sit here and make some paper hats for this gay party we seem to be having. <laughs> Darling, why don't you save your marvelous jokes for the office? There are a few more important matters around here that require your attention. Listen, when I have had a hard day at the office, I would like very much to come home. So why don't you? You don't. <laughs> You don't call? I'm here. I came home. You refuse to speak to Richie? Refuse? <laughs> you, you, you just sent him to bed. All you do is just sit there reading your paper. How can I read the paper? You tore it up. <laughs> of course I tore it up. I don't know how to handle a newspaper. I'm not familiar with the way it's folded because I never get time to read one. <laughs> I'm cooped up here, Rob. And the whole time, you're down there. And I... You come home, I knock myself out, and you have the nerve to... Well, you try it sometime. All right. Very well. If that is the way you want it, have it your own way. That's the way you want it. <laughs> You'd probably like to know where I'm going. Very well, if you must know, I'm going for a drive. <laughs> well, don't expect to find me waiting up for you. <laughs> Mr. Astaire. 